Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. Welcome to episode one of Resident Evil Zero. He's gonna say it at some point. Good to see you, Teste. Hello, Terra. What are you guys up to? <laughs> Welcome to your test. Test the drive has taken over the <laughs> channel. <laughs> this is this is the test the drive new channel two. <laughs> You're watching the test the drive. I'm the test the drive. Como estas? Yes, I speak Brazilian. It's a language. <laughs> uh, <laughs> minimal amount is ten thousand. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Nice start of the week, nice start of the week, the streaming week. So welcome to RE0 on the GameCube. The way, you know, the way I played it, or actually I played it most more times the <laughs> the remastered than this one. Because a long time ago, let's say an older person than me asked me to have the uh, Resident Evil 0. Uh, they were missing that game from their collection. And, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm young, I'll find another Resident Evil 0. So I traded him Resident Evil Zero for Pikmin. That was 2000... I'm gonna say 11. <laughs> 2022, I got my Resident Evil Zero again. Now, I mean, the remaster really helped, you know, alleviate that, like missing the game. But going back to it, just before New Year's, I was practicing for this stream, or just like remembering the game. I still like this one better than the remaster. Same as, um, same as, you know, <laughs> same as you know for re1 remake we're gonna keep oh, damn it's so everything's so smooth in these gamecube games should have made more rumble yes please yeah wanted to do no no okay so we don't no options here to set just a new game here we go <laughs> here we go Resident Evil Zero. yeah was there a different... Now I'm confused. Was there a different announcer in the HD version? I keep saying there is. A Midwestern town in America. Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea. Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City. Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the very good events testing. which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. He, he announces. What's the word? Enunciates? Sh. So what? Mansion incident. Established. Do you think so too? Yeah. Yeah, of course I think so too. Why wouldn't I? I love that line. That's like one thing that's in my brain. When you say RE0, I immediately think, do you think so too? <laughs> what the? What? This is Greg Mueller's brother? He kind of looks like Greg, doesn't he? From Outbreak. <laughs> we gave you a big vagina in RE2. We zoomed into that vagina in RE Outbreak. Now we give you thousands of little vaginas. Vagina didn't touch us, no less. They have teeth now. <laughs> nah, it's the leeches. He's the original leech man. <laughs> Controlled by, <laughs> by opera singing. Yeah, I I'm not gonna lie. I, I like this game now. I didn't used to. I like it. But like with Code Veronica, I appreciate its silliness, silliness, goofiness even. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. There was Enrico, by the way. <laughs> Before he oh. devolved down to saying "ya." Yeah. <laughs> Emo Leishman fan of Paramo. <laughs> 
Oh man, the 2000s <laughs> scream back. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Yep. <laughs> Captain, look. Captain, I mean, I hope you have eyes, man. There's a whole fucking truck there. Not Vincent. <laughs> Not Vincent. <laughs> Why, God? What happened? What is distracting me from a clue that would help us solve this puzzle? Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cullen. Oh, it's the player and character selection screen. Old. Give me that. Court was sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base. I'm supposed to pick Rebecca. I'm supposed to read their bios. Poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs and that scum that <laughs> Danny Trejo. All right, That's Enrico. Survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep yeah. your guard up. Yeah. So I almost disliked RE0 10 years ago. I didn't dislike it, but you know, it would be the last game I would pick up to play. I beat it and I was like, okay, that's enough. Stop that. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Tara. Hope you're enjoying your day. Still looks good, even today. 4.4, good, good. Damn, who turned on the red light inside? Test day? That is really good. Like, regardless of, you know, how I feel about those games, the remakes, they should be played. It's an experience. I judge them as by their merit, you know, <laughs> not just the original games, but just Resident Evil as a whole. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't be played. And I'm really, if, you're, if this is going to be your first time playing them, that's amazing. That's really good. You've heard from Gamut and me and the others. <laughs> your, your hopes are not up, which is definitely good. So, I should read this. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. The seats are stained red with blood. Well, that's pretty descriptive. <laughs> with the blood of my enemies. The door to the dining car is locked. You can't get in. Well, that's how it usually goes. <laughs> door locked, you can't get in. Door unlocked, you get in. But it does say restaurant car above the above the door there. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, inventory is the same button. Do we have any beginning files? Player's manual one. Oh, sure. Teach me. Note that the button names may differ depending on the controller type selected. You know, this was never like... It's not that hard to program a file to reflect whatever you set here to happen. But okay. View status screen. Y button. Cannot be done during these circumstances. Yeah. Equip, use, blah, blah, blah. Select. Uh, huh. Map is Z. Okay, same. Do not have a map of the area. Yeah, okay, sure. Blue, current location. Green, visited. No color. Not yet visited. Red, door locked. Yellow, uh, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, la, la. Press A. Left items. Okay, yeah. You can drop items here. That's right. We've got to get into zero mode now. Push objects, climbing, this climbing, this climbing, this mountain. <laughs> All right, equipping, sure. Attack, sure. Attacking, yes. Quick turn, yes. So, yeah, because we have, we're actually controlling two characters here. It's no secret. At the same time, no less. Come here, kitty. Thank you. Examine, okay. Yeah, we all know this. Um... The right stick cannot be used to do the quick turn. You gotta make backwards B, which, down B, which, I probably have to get <laughs> reacquainted with right now because uh, the remake spoiled me in two scenarios. Just flick the right stick and you've, you've turned. Court order for transportation. 1598A, 7635. Was that not on the train? Well, I'm just saying things. Prisoner name, Billy Cohen. ID number, D1036. Former second lieutenant, Marine Corp. Age 26, wow, young. Height, 5 feet, 9 inches. Am I old then? Weight, 74 kilograms. 
he can't be like he can't wait less than me there's no way <laughs> transfer destination regathon regathon base like his shoulder is almost as big as my hips convicted of first degree murder court martialed and sentenced to death by the 703rd military tribunal oh 703rd sentenced to be care sentenced to be carried out upon arrival okay samuel reagan reagan commander donald marine base all these letters you can't tell me he's like 70 kilograms man like there's no way he's not like he's not small he's not weak look at him <laughs> yeah yeah actually yeah that's that's pretty good comparison testing coffee time let's get the this is four. officer chambers from stars bravo team please identify yourself i'm a radio dum dum someone there you're in Silent Hill. Wrong game. <gasps> a radio. We gotta destroy it. Quickly. No, it tells you there are monsters around. Have you never played Silent Hill games before? Well, it's a big zombie. It's a big zombie. Why are two are big? Why are they all giants compared to her? Oh, I was lucky. Let's just say that's enough of him for today. I like that music though. I like a lot of music from this game. Yeah, look at that. <sighs> she's gotta be stable. She's doing the Shizan. <laughs> the default ninjutsu <laughs> stance. Can you see that? She's ready for battle, but you were never you never think that. <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> yeah, there you go. The rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Again, wrong franchise. You should be in Resident Evil. Downpour is a Silent Hill game. But okay. I guess you were ahead of time, Rebecca. Blah, blah, blah. There's gonna be a lot of goofy in this game. Prepare your whatever. <laughs> Laughing muscles. But really good backgrounds as well. Can you know here? Actually, I'm curious. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see something for myself. I forgot. Can you? Does it tell you there are items in the room? No, it doesn't. This is not Resident Evil 1 Remake. Which means you got to touch things around. I'm going to bet my ass. Yep. Yep. This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. So, look. Oh, I guess it's really, really job, really a job for the Ghostbusters to stay. <laughs> it's a finely tailored suit. These, there's nothing in the pockets. Okay. You're trying to rob him. Oh yeah, we got the ink ribbon from there. Passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkley Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups, with us in the initial group, assigned to start checking what's left of the, of the abandoned experiment. July 16. Unfortunately, the, the test production of BOW Type Y-139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with Type Dash Y-139. We keep giving them these names that no one can fucking pronounce. There's still so much we don't know about the responses to the crustacean T-virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced, indeed. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problem problematically, one of these areas is the head car 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 carpus carpus the thingy. This lab we are going to where they where the, this lab we are going to were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. If you say research one more time, I will kick you. <laughs> June 19th. 
<laughs> no man, that's the voice of the dead guy. <laughs> like you don't know, like he had he had a posh voice. Don't judge him. <laughs> the day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. It's the years of you know drinking hot scalding tea. It just burns their <laughs> it's it burns their <laughs> vocal cords. The raccoon newspaper and TV station are full of report full <laughs> are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is, I will not finish my thought because I'm a dick. No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. See. <laughs> that's this guy's voice that's his paper at least I hope it's his paper otherwise somebody just went into his compartment and left a incriminating document next to his corpse <laughs> the rain is beating fiercely against the window you wonder how long it'll last well until we're done with this section of the game there doesn't seem to be anything of use I don't know why I like that voice all of a sudden but here, there you go <laughs> <laughs> reading the notes <laughs> voice acting them no less not just reading them, voice acting them oh quite so I forgot I was in a train train <laughs> oh a safe room yes I shall drop my supplies here Yes, okay, I remember how to play RE0, that's good. Doesn't appear to be anything of use, alright. What about something that's not of use? Typewriter, no? No? Why, why do I feel like I just started playing this game for the first time? <laughs> oh, another paper. Investigation orders. Stained with blood. Well, where's Barry to lick that? Some sections are illegible. Illegible? You can't read them. <laughs> Eight miles north of Raccoon City, in the Arklay Mountains, lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down some years ago. Now, we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. Facilities, okay? First investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. You are the support, son. The following orders are William Birkin and first something goat unit, get, get, some kind of unit. The rest is torn and unreadable. Yep, I agree. It is barely readable. The green herb, you want your... No. We'll leave it there for now. So any item that's important in this game. Like if you want, if you don't want to pick up items and carry things around you in this first section, it's important to at least check them. So what I just did, because when a thing happens, when you have to leave the train, you'll kind of bring them with you. I was thinking about an outbreak game. Imagine they create a special maps so like you can play RE1 inside the game with outbreak mechanics and online. Ha! Huh. So like what they did in Left 4 Dead 2 with scenarios, yeah. You imagine if they made a, a Resident Evil online game like Outbreak and then gave fans the a map editor, you know, scenario editor, like... We'd see some amazing shit. That would be really cool, playing through, like, you know, these old games with your friends. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. Anything in the windows? No? You're not having fun with the train, Rebecca. It's locked and can be opened. Duh, what? Really? Locked and can be opened. I thought it's locked and can be opened, or it's unlocked but cannot be opened. What do I know? The door reads the conductor's office. There's a card le reader <laughs> here. It looks like the door will open if you have the right card. I mean, I love these comments. She's like, <laughs> she's like RE1 original Rebecca. Like showdown mode, but RE1 mod, and you can play as the characters. Well, yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Uh, something like that was the initial idea, wasn't it? This train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. Alright, what is he holding? <gasps> a train key? In a train. You're shitting me. 
No. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> I see. You're with stars. Well, no, it's no stars. Offense, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait, you're under arrest. No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. And looks and care cut. <laughs> She's like, oh, I should have shot him. Dude, there's a door Edward. like two meters away. Are you all right? What happened? Edward. Worse than we can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of Should I kill them? I'll kill them. Monsters. Zombies and monsters. <laughs> Stay with me. Here. <laughs> she's, she's like. Zombies and monsters. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get bitten. I should just run, but nope. There's another one there, I know it. Edward, you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. I hope it's ammo. Oh, thank God, it's Hamill. Thank you, Edward. This body has bite marks all over it. I mean, why? Because of the zombies and monsters? Yeah, the leeches. Well... Oh, shit. Should have moved. That's good. This is a good position to start. Damn, that's a strong gun. Is every kid a critical? There you go. That was actually pretty easy. Why do I remember them mauling me at the f right at the start? <laughs> uh. So leeches, like, it's very... This is one day before RE1, right? And it's very connected to RE1. What happened in the mansion is connected to what's happening here. Hello, zombie. Of course you were here, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see your name, if nothing else. And your emoji. How are you doing, Zamboni? haven't talked to you properly in a few days I gotta say and yeah this is officially the longest I haven't touched Outbreak it's been when will we last play last Sunday let's say it's been eight days that's like that's horrible wow the frame rate is just like smooth look at that I mean again you see just half of it on the stream but wow the tag reads dining car yeah there's nothing else here. Well, you, is it like locked and it can't be open? Because if you tell me that, I don't know if I can take it, Rebecca. I got the... Did I mark the herbs? I just got to tag him. Tag him and bag him. What about the zombies here? I mean, I could just run past them. Because it doesn't matter if you kill them now, Billy will have to deal with them later. Anyway, they'll just get up. Let's try to just run past them. Quick reflexes, let's go. Oh, gee, I passed you. Run, 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 don't get bit again. I almost had him. This close. <laughs> Oh yeah, this game actually has stair loading animations. That's really good to know. Take it, yes. And it gave us the use command right away. RE1 would let you use an item if you don't have the room. RE0 just lets you use an item. It's some kind of egg. It's like eggs. Uh, I, I mean, till it's unless it's like one gigantic blobby egg. A puddle of slime has formed around it. Yeah, I think it's just like mistranslation, things like this. There's an antique style phone. The line has been cut, rendering it useless. But we still get this like rustic scenery. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, I played it. I played it quite a few times, actually. I didn't like it in the past, but uh, I did start liking it. Sometime last year, again, thanks to Outbreak, I started looking different at these games. So, actually in 2022 I beat it twice. Once the HD remaster and once the GameCube, when the GameCube version shipped over here. Because I wanted to, you know, remember the differences. But yeah, I have. Okay, it's the same thing. I just, you know, when I thought about it, when we did the RE1 remake, I totally forgotten that, you know, it's things you don't pay attention to initially, that in that game there are no loading stairs, you can go down and up the stairs freely, but in Zero there are. Even though the games use the same engine and look very much alike, they were, you know, made by different teams. Outbreak, yes. Through the window you see a broken ladder. It's no, of no use right now. Oh. <laughs> Wait, are there zombies here? There are zombies here too, aren't there? Oh no, there are. Yeah, good. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico. Hello. That's not how you call him. You, you gotta say Enrico. Yeah, that's two and three. But never mind, you didn't respond. Why is she so absent minded? Is she high on all the herbs that she's taken? Zombies and monsters. <laughs> yeah, I gotta capture that face. Okay, I will be jumped here. I remember that. So let's run, 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 run. Oh, that, that guy's behind me. Okay, whoa! That guy's not behind me. Never mind, let's ignore them. Use the dining car key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away. Bye. File chew. <laughs> I like how he says in the original RE2 when he says, <laughs> Resident Evil chew. <laughs> It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, damn, you didn't even you haven't noticed hear his side. Freaked out things on this train, and I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, All right Miss big miner. <laughs> what should I? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Fine, I'll do that. Since you don't believe in my skills, I'm gonna show you, Billy. Let me just read this file here. Notice to supervisors. Aha, uh -huh, this is for Nikolai. <laughs> When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff has vacated the car. In case you don't get it, I'm doing these like posh voices because everybody who's riding a train or, or driving a train or working in a train is pompous and posh. <laughs> the main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Corporation main Maintenance Department. Yeah, it's quaint. <laughs> yeah, that's why Wesky and uh, Spencer got those accents. Well, Spencer is British. And uh, Wesky just got, you know, got his accent. Looks like an automatic door. There's no power now, so it won't open. It won't open. I can't open the door. Okay. Yeah, watch the cables. 
Man, the animations are just beautiful. Thank you, game, for being so lovely. All right, let's check what's here. The counter is littered with slips of paper listing customers' orders. Yeah, it was, they were doing their job. Who would have thought? It's locked from the other side. All right. A half-eaten meal sits on the table. We'll make it stand. <laughs> uh, don't listen to me. Everything is sitting on the table. Oh, I'll just go here inconspicuously. I'm pretty sure they'll be Mumu. Oh, hello, sir. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. <gasps> Don't lose your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Ah, Billy, help me, Billy. Curse this way. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. That's like that. That's that cold Veronica bullshit we were all looking for. <laughs> oh no, he shot one of us. Let's all retreat. Like he shot a few leeches okay? off of her and they all fell apart. Yeah, I don't need your help, Billy. Okay, just stop it. You're making me look bad in front of the monsters. Look, they're singing now. They're singing my song of defeat. Well, it's those musical leeches I, I, I keep hearing about. Who is that guy? Oh, look, he can move the train too. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. You just saved your ass. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? I'll give you a call if I want to give you a call. Huh. <laughs> all right, we're not going to split. Who are we kidding? I know the story is like here, yeah, you gotta split, but that no things. Player's manual 2, character switching. Note that button names may differ, yep. Cool. Character switching, assistant enables you to control the two lead characters. Okay, I understand English. The character you currently, the main character, sure. Controlling the partner character, blah blah. You can use the C stick to control the partner character, very useful. Partner, blah blah. Solo, both characters move independently. Team, attack, okay. I used to build blah 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 blah. Switching characters, press the X button. So yeah, that's switching. But it's not just like it says press the X button at the status screen. You can press you can press it outside the status screen too. Alright. You'll need two characters, choose the item from the blah blah. Main characters item box, as in like their inventory? Who translated this? Character attributes. Here we go. Rebecca. Rebecca, a member of STARS, has the following attributes. Can combine herb-related items. Is weak defensively. Can use a mixing set to combine chemicals. Sure. Okay. So she can re combine herbs. That's right. Character attributes. Billy. Billy, a former Marine, has the following attributes. Cannot combine herb-related items. Well, I guess they don't let them combine weed in, uh, in the army is strong in combat and can push large objects okay the partner par partner character is attacked well, okay if one of them dies it's game over sure partner being attacked in a different room yes 
once inside the whole game. But yeah, like if if you leave a character a solo somewhere, you're doing something else, and their an enemy comes along and attacks the idle character, they will call over the radio. But if you set them to auto, they will also defend themselves. There's a room that near the end of the game that really demonstrates that well, because there are zombies that play dead until you do a certain thing and then they get up. Cooperating with your partner. Some puzzles can be solved. Cannot be solved by only one character. When you're stuck, okay, sure. Like, if you ever play the game, you'll know what to do. All right, it's time to strategize. Billy, you gave me the, your bullets. That's very kind of you, but you're the main guy here, so uh, let's not play dumb. There you go. You get those. You get the knife. You know what, Billy? What was it? X? Fuck the knife. A knife designed for self-defense. I mean, the wow. I just can't. The animation is beautiful. So fluid. You can kind of see... You can kind of see it there. I see. Alright, Rebecca has way more HP. I remember that. I'm gonna keep Billy here. Billy, no, actually. There you go. You can change characters outside of the menu. Anything else here to pick up? Like, give me some ammo. Are all the meals sitting on the table? Nothing there. There. We're gonna look behind, like... corners where you can't see kind of remember there being am ammo in one of these maybe I'm maybe I'm going crazy maybe it's a false memory we'll never know well we'll know in a minute I don't think there's any ammo here all right you stay here sir I'll go check over there. Yeah. yeah I got this I'm the train person yes <laughs> There's a ladder here. It seems to lead up to the roof. Climb the, up the ladder. It's the only choice we got. Ah, right, here we go. The Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VIII <laughs> mission. But yeah, this uh, this always blew my mind. I know, uh, like, Arkley Forest seems to be ten times, ten times bigger here than it is. Yes, kid. Yes! It's Kun. Thank you for the resub, Kun, my friend. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much. It's a hole. Rebecca's not gonna look in the hole, but she will look at the electrical installations. Let's just pretend she's got an engineering degree. The power cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable. You don't do that. You never do that. Like, in the rain, connect the live cables with your hands. <laughs> Not in the wildest dreams. Ow. There you go. Very, very purposeful leeches. I'm not gonna lie. They know what they're doing, and they do it with purpose. Drop that, so we can take this one. It's zero time. You like zero, Kun? There's something stuck in the keyhole. It's preventing the doorknob from turning. You could probably get it out if you had something sharp. Oh look, a police officer with nothing sharp on her. Train key. Yeah. And more, more weed. <laughs> More weed, dear Billy. Alright. Service lift is stopped at the first floor. Call the service lift. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying earlier, I didn't like this game before, but I like it now. A lot. It's I guess a lot of us didn't like it because it's hard and in a different way. So people were like, you know what? That's stupid. If I don't like it, it has to be stupid. Let's we'll just send him the ammo first, yeah. We'll, let's go down with Billy and get down with Billy. And um, it's got some tedious, more tedious puzzles, but it's, you know, I forgive it now because I see what they were going for. They were going for something different. And boy, did they deliver something different. Still a classic RE, but with its own set of, uh, you know, mechanics. Conductor's office, all right. Billy's going to take that. 
Be right back to you, Rebecca. Bloop. Damn, you GameCube, you load very fast. You load super fast. You're a good GameCube. Yes, kitty. So smooth. Let's see. Let's take the ammo Rebecca sent. I'll have to send her the red herbs I find, find to combine. But my strategy, and I think a lot of players' strategy, is to take Billy as the main character. Because his HP, he's got more HP. I think about 25% or something. But... Uh, uh, because the herbs work like in classic RE, so instead of like uh, healing a set amount of HP, a set number, they heal a set percentage of HP. So with Billy having more HP, you basically get more HP to work with. Because the herbs, the healing items in this game, are very, <laughs> very low, like compared to the others, of course. Yeah, no box. See, I like that. That's what I was saying. It's got it something of its own. That's unique in the series. Like, uh, Outbreak allowed us to exchange items between characters by, you know, giving them on our hand, like, hey, or take this. Or, if you're, you can replace an item on the ground with the one, you know, in your inventory. So basically keep that spawn point of the item. I don't know, item point in the, in the world. Here it's different. You can only exchange, like, literally from inventory to inventory. Only if they're close by. So you can't exchange if they're not near each other. And... You can drop items anywhere, which change, like I think if they combined those two item uh, sharing mechanics in a in a more modern game, it would be amazing. There's an access panel here. You need some kind of tool to open it. <laughs> like the whole the whole kitchen. Take a frying pan here. I see a ladle there. See that ladle, and like that forky thing in the pan. Just take that and open it. Jesus, man. These are the people that will save the world. <laughs> it's locked from the other side, alright? Let's check these things. I'm doing a story run here. I keep forgetting sometimes. The counter is laden with various types of food. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Billy is not mind blown by this food. What about here? It's an industrial sized refrigerator. <laughs> if only. The shelf is full of cooking utensils. It doesn't seem to be anything of use. Except for, you know, the little thing that you can't open with your hands. Mr. Gotcha. Is there three of them? I want to kill this guy. Oh shit, I was hoping to avoid that, but thank you guys. It really helped a lot. Oh. Now I gotta kill you all. Or just avoid them. Should have just ran without spending any ammo, but here we go. Here we are. Will I be back this way? I guess no time to think now. Sorry guys, you gotta go. We'll check about the other car. There you go. Alright, good start. And it's time to reload, is it? Alright, that's not bad. You coming, sir? Like, today? You made me do this, man. I really didn't wanna. I think last time I just left them and sp sprinted through. Which is what I should do in the next room compartment. Because they'll be back later. There's no point, really. Oh, boy. There you go. I should be able to ditch this one next time. I'll be right back, sir. Because this one is in, in that little alcove. Should be able to just run past them. Such a clean compartment. Probably should check for some supplies in it, actually. Which is what I'm gonna do right now. We gotta return one more time. 
before the bastards respawn. I kind of remember finding ammo where I never found it. But man, all these games are now mixed in my head. That was the first compartment, right? Where we started the game, yeah. The train is moving too fast. It's too dangerous to go outside. Well, yeah. Nope, there's no ammo. We're still pretty good. We'll, av we'll avoid killing anything we don't really have to kill. Because that's the way to do this first bit. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! That's a really horrible start of the game. That's right, right, super bad. Whoa! Jesus fucking Christ! Right, we good now? Wow, he's still fine. Damn, Billy, you can really take a lot of punishment. Passenger luggage is scattered, scattered all over the place. Well, considering how many bites I, I took, took three, four so far and still being fine, I'm not gonna complain. I've had way worse starts. <laughs> really, stop that. So there is no ammo. I'm just tripping balls, am I? Like, no compartments. No, none of these passengers had ammo. Even though this is Umbrella's train, isn't it? Is... Edward up? Edward? Alright, he can he can at least see him. What did I leave in the safe room? Just that, huh? And on floor two, just that. Okay. Still need a red herb, Billy. I mean you'll need it first, of course. Oh fuck, I forgot to take the key. <laughs> That's okay. Then then it's good that I killed him. Since I since I messed up like this at the very beginning. Then it helps. Like if you do everything right and they don't bite you, then it's good. But like if I had to return, it would just be a waste of time and ammo. Can you hold a button? I think you can. Yeah, you can. Hello, Carter. Reanimated crimes. <laughs> well, they're also humanoid. They were. <laughs> they were human at some point, they say. Fuck the pistol. Pistol is for pussies. You actually you gotta call it, yeah. Stop thinking. Action, we need action. I'm doing good, man. The chat seems to be <laughs> doing good, at least. We're all laughing here. How are you, buddy? Who has the bottle? So was there anything else here? No, oh, don't call it. Now that we cleaned up a little, uh, 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 except for that herb, of course. The downpour outside shows no sign of signs of letting up. You should be freezing, you know, with the moving train next to that hole. But uh, we're gonna pretend there's nothing. <laughs> Shexy spenchy. <laughs> He, he's the ultimate human being, according to him. And everybody should be like him. And even better. <laughs> Alright, now I got what I need. That was a really... That was really a beginner's thing to do. 
to leave the key behind, but oh well. Run, Billy! Run with your long legs! That's enough death for today. Hello? Is it his arm that's squeaking? It looks like it's his arm squeaking. Oh yeah, as for their weapons, that's also interesting. So he's got the standard army issue. Well, I don't know if it was standard at, in 1998, but it was, a stand, it was standard for a long time in the US Army and many other armies. It's basically the Colt 1911. The same that Solid Snake uh, and a lot of a lot of other game game cube <laughs> video game protagonists carry, and she's got a Beretta. It doesn't say anywhere, I think. Standard standard queen for for stars officers. Yeah, this is where they stopped using like actual names, but you can see it's a custom Beretta, nine millimeter. Well, this is a st standard. 45 ACP. Well, not really. It uses 9mm bullets, but just roll with it. Right, here I am with the key this time. Wait for me, car! I mean, door. Use the conductor's key. You don't need, seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away. Look at that reflection in the door as the as the as the door is moving. The reflection is moving. Just like amazing details. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, good, good. I totally I missed that. Honestly, I, I rushed into Discord today to check what's been happening because I wasn't like I didn't have time. For the past, I don't know when the last time when I wrote there seriously. So I just, I just replied to everything and went away. <laughs> so I'm really happy to hear that, man. Okay, so he can't, he cannot mix them. We can bring him to Rebecca right away, so she can make something, something for Billy. All right, we got the, the map of the train, the whole two cars we didn't see. Yeah, what does it say over here? Flip it, flip it. Oh, gee. Didn't tell me anything about the ladders. Was there anything in the jacket, though? Ah, uh, we'll never find out. What about the switch now? It's a switch for raising and lowering the ladder. But we don't give a shit about it anymore. Ugh. Note from conductor. The key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag as always. But I need the other guy's key to open the damn thing. But, it looks like I've lost it somewhere. If it was a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in, but this key is different. I'll look for it too. If you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in advance. See, this guy doesn't have a posh voice accent. Voice accent. Uh, no, but remember that it's there. It should still show. Is that it? Are we down here? All right. Since you can't roll a joint, Billy, we're gonna have to go to Rebecca to do that. Very interesting door, though. Wait, if I went upstairs, I don't think. Yeah, I don't want to go upstairs yet, and I remember why. <laughs> Good thing I remember to do this. Stay there, Edward. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Maybe not even these two. I should I should bring her more herbs. Hold on. I got more. Since she's doing this. Nah, it'll be enough. But yeah, I remember why. Because there's a set number of items that can't be transferred once the once you leave the train, so we wanna minimize the number actually. And since uh, this is Resident Evil, we can't send like five items at once. Nope. You gotta do them one by one. There was
goes, yep, there it is. Yep. I really like these doors, like the, the, the little thing, the, the third lock, what is that? Oh, that's for the chain to put the, I forgot what it's called in English. To put the chain so no one can, so like people can just like slightly open it and you can be like through the little, yeah, be like, yeah, who is it? <laughs> that's what that's for. That's what that's for. Only in English, ladies and gentlemen. That's the, the gotta go through those two two cars every time. I think the last time I did this, I just ignored it. I ran to the scorpion. But it would be a shame to start all over after all of this. So Rebecca, please roll me a joint. I'll send you <laughs> I'll send you one herb. Actually take this first. Well it doesn't matter which one she does first, right? We need both, anyway. It would be a shame. <laughs> yeah, we all have that. Thank you, man, for those kind words. We all, we all have that for sore spots. That's how humans are. That's why it's not easy. That's why we, we admire... We don't admire people who have... What is it called? Like Stoics? We don't admire them because like they're punishing themselves or whatever. We admire them because they remember they're human, you know. And, and remember, okay, you know what? Let's think about the other person. What... You know, what do they feel about this or that? That's the that's the very hard part. And I'm struggling with it every day. Struggling? Yeah. You could say we're struggling with it to the end of our lives. But as long as you remember it, you won, I think. So thank you for that. Yes, exactly. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm combining herbs. Let's focus. <laughs> focus. Don't get distracted. <laughs> Don't get reversed. <laughs> get rotated <laughs> that's what we should make that like is that possible i know you can customize a lot of stuff in uh, in streamlabs we we gotta see if we can customize when <laughs> when carter <laughs> when carter or anyone else for that matters re <laughs> redeems reverse reverse we get that <laughs> gets rotated idiot <laughs> meme <laughs> when will resident evil one come out well a day later, Delmar, my friend. A day later. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Delmar. Good thing Granite never saves enough for real damage. <laughs> right. Let's not eat the herb before it's time. Billy, are you good? So you are. your sergeant cannot catch you with that joint. So you play dumb. Like, if anybody asks... You ain't seen nothing, boy. You ain't seen nothing. Oh, let's send her this. Rebecca the Dope Fiend. Let's make two double greens right away. Because whenever there's a... Like, if there's any herbs in this game, whenever there's a green... I mean red, there's five greens for it. So I'm not scary. I'm not scary? I'm not scared. <laughs> I am tired, apparently. Wasn't even aware of that. I was like, yeah, Resident Evil Zero. Woohoo! Yippee! And then I started and I was like... Uh... <laughs> Take it now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. 
Don't tell him anything. It's a trap. Is that all the weed we got here? Boys and girls? Yeah, look. The, the less... I can't remember the number, so I'm playing it safe. Like, we could do this section in 15 minutes and less. But I, I really apparently forgotten a lot of these numbers so I can't remember how many items can be strewn across the train double checked earlier for um, for them to be to exist once we leave the train so yeah and these like these movie backgrounds these video backgrounds are here I they might be in some places in some ways better than the ones in RE1 remake like look at this the lighting everything it's Yes, it's pre-recorded. Yes, it's just playing out, but it's phenomenally playing out. The brightness is also a little different, as you can probably see. Minus one. <laughs> uh. Thinking about it, minus one would be awesome. Young Wesker's adventures as a trainee at Umbrella with his buddies Hunk and Billy B. <laughs> Don't forget Willy, <laughs> the Huet Willy. These appear to be documents pertaining to train operations. They are scattered all over the destined floor. Why, you're quite observant, young man. Let's climb up the ladder. Maybe you can see more from, you know, height. Oh, nice, a bar. I can drink my worries away. Glasses and bottles are scattered all over the counter. These bottles must have fallen over when the emergency brake was activated. Today's specials. Mediterranean-style shrimp. Carpaccio, carpaccio, roast chicken. Carpaccio, carpaccio? Join the party! This, the menu shows a picture of a group of people having a wild party. The party's over. The next picture looks like a continuation of the first. The party goers are, goers are saying goodbye. Nobody's saying goodbye. No party goers are saying goodbye after a party. They're all like sleeping on the host's guest. Uh, a host's bed, I mean, but yeah. <laughs> I meant the wet willy with Billy B. <laughs> uh, carpaccio, yep, carpaccio. That's what I, yeah. But how you like I know in in English Italian gets like a little deformed like uh, like like Latin so I don't know cuz in Italian it would be carpaccio roast chicken a roast a chicken a carpaccio but like in English it's like carpaccio <laughs> sleep on a roast cat. <laughs> hey that happens too on parties you're not wrong love All right let's go oh well, what could this be repose out I guess someone left their kitty cat on the roof. <laughs> Everything gets deformed in English. It is true, like, when you... I don't know. When you try saying other... Well, not when you try. When, when I hear someone with, you know, a native English speaker saying uh, Spanish or Italian words, I guess it sounds like when me, a native Serbian speaker, says English words to English people. I don't know. All I know is, it's not like, it's never one-to-one. -one. That wind is, boy, we're really in love with that camera angle. So no ammo, really. Billy, like, what kind of train is this? There's no ammo anywhere. What am I supposed to shoot with? Well, I can punch them. That is very sexy. <laughs> hmm, okay, that's a lie. <laughs> Thank you, Step Love. Oh yes, this is what we need, but we're not gonna take it. Is that what triggers the the thingy? Welcome to the Eclipse the Ecliptic Salon. Salon. Please join us for a moment of relaxation. <gasps> relaxation. Some kind of egg, a puddle of slime. Has, it's the other side of the same group of eggs, Billy. Group. Yeah, never ending. Like you can spend. It would be nice if there, if there was like a time limit. You're going off the rails here. Wink, wink. But no, it's like, it never ends. How did I do this last time? I remember I found a really good... Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna touch that. It's a closet. The door is fitted with some kind of special lock. 
What was that? Wait, wait, wait. Special lock. Oh, that's probably where you change your clothing in New Game Plus. Could be it. It could be it. Now, that was a, that was like excellent timing. <laughs> uh, thank you for the raid, Mayo Hazard. And welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome to Resident Evil Zero. I like that. Zero. Welcome in, everyone. How's everyone doing? Shotgun ammo? Did I take the shotgun? That's first. Like, I would like to start that there game. If you allow me, please. There you go. The hunting gun. Hello, hello. Thank you for that. Thank you for that shout out, love. Check out Mayo Hazard. Plays the same type of games we play over here. With wonder wonderful... Uh, with wonderful soundtracks. Yeah, Lupka's busy at the moment. She said she'll join us as soon as, as soon as she can. As soon as she can. How are you doing, Mayo Hazard? What's up? Anything? How's the how's Back for Blood treating you? The painting depicts depicts a vast, windswept plain. Ew, Kuwait. Talk about the bed, man. Look at that bed. You're not gonna talk about that. It looks like fucking woolen sheets. It's expensive. Talk about it. Savages. Single player on no hope. <laughs> yeah, she dares have a life. Single player on no hope. That, that's the hardest, right? Bad, good, RNG, switcheroo. <laughs> uh, 12 gauge shotgun shells. You're not gonna open it? I wanna see what's inside. Show me the shells. Should I touch the spray? I'm like... I don't know. If there's a hidden achievement inside GameCube... There you go. I touched it. But I'm not picking it up. You pick it up, game. Since you're so smart with your first aid sprays and whatnot. Oh, kitty. Calm down. Stop jumping. So, is something gonna happen now? What do you think? Nah, I think I have to take the thing. Yeah, that triggers it. <laughs> Lupka's busy right now. She's uh she'll be here as soon as she can. <laughs> a nice pick with a finely tapered point. Looks pretty sharp. Well it is a nice pick, Billy. Was there a there's only one save room, right? Yeah. Why does it always make me think there's a save there? She left us forever and ever and ever. Making some dinner. Alrighty, bon appetit, Mayo. Thanks again for the raid. Really appreciate it, buddy. Alright, let's just go forward. I'm sure nothing will happen if I just, like, keep sneaking past. Uh... Oh, no. Not my chandelier. I paid a lot of money for that. It's Spencer Design. I don't want to bother you, please. I'm just gonna go away, that's okay with you, Mr. Scorpion. Whee! Whee! Screw you, buddy. Ah! Do I want to do two more? Yeah, why wouldn't I want to do two more? Oh, gee. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Sir, I did not expect that. That is very impolite of you. Oh, shit. I was really hoping to avoid it. There was... I knew there was a gag to me. Oh, yeah. You keep shooting him in the face with the pistol. That's it. Whoa! Okay. Almost did it. Yep. But I remember what it is, at least. I'm still good. Don't mind me. You dead? I think he's dead. 
No, he's not dead, but I am. That, that was way worse than I wanted to. Come, come at me, bro. Oops. Damn. Really bad stuff. That's it, that's it, I remember now. Oops! I guess I spent all the bullets. Asshole. This is really bad, like this should be... Way more, way easier. You dead? Do it, Jesus Christ. This was supposed to be normal. Whoo, we good? It can still hurt you. <laughs> let's just let's just leave that now. At least I remember what the gag was. How wide is it? It's um, well, it's like the what do you call those? Ex express train? No, I don't know. Luxury trains for rich people. That's what it is. Reload. That was not really good. But you know what? I'll roll with it. Let's reload the shotgun. Where, where did the second shell come from, Billy? <laughs> you did not have a second shell. You only had one. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that's why I was like, there's William and there's Billiam. <laughs> this is Billiam. <laughs> you know, it's funny that they mentioned, like, mutated scorpions in the... This is the goofiness. So, like I said at the beginning, for those of you who weren't around, I respect this game a lot more than I did. I almost disliked it in the past. Not really, but almost. And, uh... I, I really like it now, but I accept its goofiness for what it is. It's pretty darn goofy. Do I want to drop? You know what? I'll drop the fucking shotgun. It'll find its way to me. The best gun in the game. Yeah. Just like we can just walk on the on the roof in the previous section. We'll do it again, I'm sure. Used to open the access panels in the floor, alright? We'll do that together, though. But still no ammo, huh? There's a gaping hole in the ceiling. Oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. I did not see that. That's it. I really think I'm missing a pack of ammo, but fuck it. Climb down the ladder. Ah, very tasty. Do I want to bring the, the bag? I think I want to bring the bag. I'm going to bring the bag. Go to travel around the world. Do some advertisement for your, for my stream. <laughs> Shout it from the rooftops. There's nothing else here, okay? Okay, let's get out. I think it's time for old Edward to say hi. Oh, Eddie. Okay, he's not getting up, I guess. Bye, Eddie. We're not gonna combine that other green. I think 
No, actually, it's already with Rebecca. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Don't need that. Okay, so it is better to kill them. Why do I remember it was like dodging them? Maybe I was lucky in a playthrough and I somehow dodged them and then I was like, yeah, you can definitely dodge them. Oops. Hello, service lift. Can you lift my service? Yeah, I speak. Pick. Goodbye, I speak. May you serve her well. Oh, well, you know, Billy sent me an ice pick. Oh, you were you were for real? I thought you were go making a joke. Well, thank you, Carter. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. A nice pick with a finely, sh finely tapered point, so she doesn't have. They never have different thoughts, but oh well. Will she want to use it by herself? I doubt it. It's a, it's a key item, yeah. That's not code Veronica. The doorknob is unstuck now. Wait, you didn't even ask me if I want to bring an item from back there. It's rude. Never mind. Damn, he's lit. Bye. Why is the fire not killing him? It's like it's like hellfire zombies, you know. Let's. Okay, we gotta join forces now. Don't get surprised, Rebecca. There's a jump scare coming. Let's regroup. Okay. Don't you okay me? Or is it go it's gonna happen later, is it? Is it though? I'm not sure. Fuck, let's move Rebecca away. Go alone. Roger. Go backwards, Rebecca. <laughs> I can't remember when it's it when it is, so uh use. Is it now? Is it later? Yeah, nothing you couldn't have done with a fork or a knife or anything metal. You know what? He'll be safe just there. Hold on. Sixty. Okay, I'll be good. Enter the crawl space. That's right. Cause I just want to unlock the door. I know I'll be greeted by um, the greeting committee. Ah, bullshit! I call bullshit. Jump, scare. <laughs> the beach filter, yeah. So you can kind of, like if I reset, I think they did it on purpose. I was really struggling with that on Friday because I pre prepared this. I shouldn't have taken that. I prepared this on Friday, right? As I do. And um, I thought to myself, like, why would they do this? Like, why is it so, why is everything so, yeah. The bla black is kind of like, I think you could say beige, maybe like gray. But turns out that's on purpose because if it can really go black here in between this, that means I actually set the brightness right, which I know I did. 
But then look at this. Like, like it gets weirder. Their own monitor tuning is out of like. <laughs> if if I do set it to zero, what well, would be like? I don't know how to explain it. Like right now, this is ten. For all the component games, we use ten brightness. Very very rarely is it's it's off. But I guess they made it like one thing, then they upped the brightness for the old TVs. That's probably what happened because their own monitor tuning device doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, no, as far as I know, there is no like Wesker's report or whatever that's called. I know that's a thing in the remastered version. That's right. That's where I heard about that. Oh, what do you mean I can't carry? You can't carry that item. I can carry whatever the hell I want. There we go. A strange odor ling lingers around the cage. The c -c 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 cage. Take the guild ring. Yeah. Finally crafted gold ring. That's about it. Okay. We need another one, right? The gold ring fits perfectly in the hole. Okay. Not gonna talk about the other one. Fuck the other one. All right, uh, let's get Rebecca. The door is now unlocked. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on. Roger. Yeah. Sir, you just pretend to Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. That was really helpful. Of course, this way. Alright. Oh, you do need to reload, Billy. Libby. Yes, we make my favorite weapon. Well, in this game, it's kind of shit. It's not Outbreak Molotovs. Hey, but it works. Examine. You might be able to use this as a weapon if you fill it with something. See, in Outbreak, it's already alcohol bottles, but here you gotta fill them. And it was Rouge Wine. 1978. Mmm, 20 years old at this point, huh? And it's filled with gasoline. So, like, one, one of these goes in one of these. Like, you're gonna tell me that thing has one liter, that tank. I don't buy I will buy it. These bottles are e either 0 0.75 or 1 liter. A rather primitive weapon capable of dealing massive damage to certain types of enemies. Yeah, there's one type of enemy. Well, two. That it's very effective against. Don't need it now. You keep that. I'm, I'm almost like tempted to make her eat that herb. But I'm not gonna. Because I know better. Yeah, well, they were made at the same time. They're like in RE one. I swear, one of those zombies is the first. Not zombie. What do they call Ganado in RE four? But we, a lot of resources were shared between these three games because they were all made. All three of them were made at the same time for the same platform, the GameCube. And RE four is the only one that got like ported to everything right away. The other two had to wait for like fifteen years. The boxes are filled with food and other supplies. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. No, don't zombify. <laughs> it's the release lever. No, not yet. Okay. There's a hand up hand operated brake here. You'll need a magnetic card to operate it. Alright, you could say manual. A hook shot is attached to the wall. To use, pull the lever and release the lock. Like this was made for two people. El bastadore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean si sí, senor, el bastador. Uh, X then Billy.
There you go. You need to box. Ah, oh, all right. Then fuck that. Hookshot operator's manual. Warning, this device should only be used when inspecting difficult could to access car routes or when connecting special trains. Return to its proper location after use. <laughs> so no links, uh, no, no, no Zelda uses. Instructions, one, where to use. This, there is a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section door of the third carriage. Fire the device so that it hooks high onto the ladder. Very practical. <laughs> Two, using the winch to climb. After securing the hook, use the winch to lift yourself up. This grappling hook can only lift one person at a time. Be aware that the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 kilograms. Alrighty, so we'll consult, consult our doctor of choice. Our chosen physician. Was there any ammo here, like dropped on the floor? I sure remember finding some ammo that I never found. But oh well, I guess not here. <laughs> is that that's a um, tongue twister that, is that a French tongue twister very nice detail on the door yes I love doors in Resident Evil games you do spend most of the game looking at doors so better accept it so I'm gonna yes the guys are gonna be back now ah okay Okay, not. I was wrong. Nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Yep. Hope I brought everything I wanted to. Is it time for Eddie to get up? Eddie! Come on, Eddie. Come on, boy. Have I got... We're a team, a tech stance, that's right. Uh, shit! Fuck! Man, I'm really bad at this tonight. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. God damn it. You know what? Rebecca... Rebecca wait in the safe room. God damn it, that was really bad. And I didn't give him the hookshot, am I? <laughs> Hello, Lyubka. Welcome, welcome back. Oh, for the love of fuck. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, Billy, your turn. You gotta take that thing from her. Okay. So we're gonna start... Uh, we're gonna start by fighting, huh? Okay. If, you, if that's what you wanna do. <laughs> Oh, fudgesicles, Billy. Here we go. Oh, he's got a lighter. That's right. This lighter appears to be out of fuel. It's useless right now. Why, are you, why do you have it on you? And how do you have it on you if you were on your way to prison? Like, why did they let you keep a lighter? A set of tools used to mix and prepare medicines. That's right. It's got syringes, it's got... So it's there. she's not really rolling joints, she's more like filling the test tubes. Who am I? Rebecca? Billy? So you need these things. That's enough things. Shit, he'll have to get bitten now because he fucked up. Damn. Ah, I mean, I'm, I made a mistake. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna take all the bites I need to take. I messed up. Maybe just kill this group here, huh? Flap slapper. <laughs> How many? How far? Who are you, who do you work for? 
There you go. He's not coming back up. That was a waste of ammo. But we'll live. I've had worse. Exch examine first. A gun like device used to fire grappling hooks. Like multiple grappling hooks? This is so not. This is so not <laughs> practical for a train operator. Like, imagine having to do this being your job. You have to handle. You have to handle. A gosh darn hook shot. Thank you, Carter. Oh, this must be the biggest forest in the history of forests. This keeps coming. It's kind of like Hanna Barbera backgrounds keeps repeating. Looks like there's a passenger cabin down below the crack. <laughs> jump down through the crack <laughs> after you've jumped through the heroin. Oh, hello there, sir. I did not expect company. I thought this was a private compartment. I have to do one manual reload because this is too tight. If I had a shotgun right about now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jewelry box. All right, what's in the jewelry box? Looks like a case for holding jewelry. Open. Well, yeah. This is the right time to get rich. There is something inside. Took the silver ring. A finely crafted silver ring. All right, let's add it to the gold ring and see what we get. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Alakazam. The uh, open sesame. The briefcase has been unlocked. There is something inside. One card! You you spent the whole briefcase for one card. How does this company even exist up until this point? This key card is used to unlock the electronic door to the lead car. One 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 time one thing. Oh yeah, so you've seen it too, right? It's really annoying sometimes when you want to clip something. And uh, and it fails. But stained with someone's blood. Perhaps one of the passengers. Well, why don't you lick it? Don't take the knife. Screw the knife. The room is furnished with a single bed. It's soaked from the rain. Maybe I have to. The box is filled with passengers' belongings. They all look extremely valuable. Yeah, but ammo? Well, I got the card, that's what I wanted. Charge! Okay, so they're dissipating. Or they're hatching. More baby leeches. Man, that animation. I guess that's it. There's nothing else here. No hidden ammo. A strong wind is blowing from outside. Yet I have no sleeves somehow. How did I do that? <laughs> oh shit, leeches. Fuck you, leeches. No! Is this on the other side of the thing where I was? Where I left? Was he shorty? <laughs> is this yeah this is where i was okay at least i cleaned this also it's not that bad i i yeah it's not horrible i did forget a few things but we're back on track is it better when you dodge more yeah definitely it's sexier but uh rebecca you can come out of the room i have taken care of things she's thinking she's thinking hard
think this is where old Eddie's gonna get up. Let's regroup. Roger. All right, together. Do not shoot Eddie if he gets up. Good, good. There's a card reader here. Looks like the door will open if you have the right... Yes, I do have the right card. Thank you very much. There we go. The door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore. Throw it away. Yeah? This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? <laughs> what happened? And then? Okay, slow down, slow down. One bullet at a time, please. So did they hug them to death? <laughs> yeah, I know. This whole game doesn't make sense from a story perspective. But we play, we play it for the gameplay. <laughs> like, I know they were doing a prequel before they even made RE2, but man. Yeah. <laughs> And not reacting to them. They're like, oh wait, they told us to shoot humans, maybe some zombies, but nobody said anything about leeches. Oh well, I guess I'll die. <laughs> uh, okay, professional. The train is quickly picking up speed. Well, put it down then. Put, put the speed down. Come on. The engine is completely destroyed. There's no way to fix it. Like, the leeches did that? If it's destroyed, how is the train still moving? <laughs> uh, I love you, Resident Evil Zero. You're funny. I mean, just jump off. Apparently, there's no issue for you people. <laughs> uh. So no ammo, huh? I, I have these false memories of finding ammo in all the corners. Like, I played this game three months ago on this console, and yet I have all these false memories. So nobody was in there. They, were, they had to go out in the, the storm to talk to Wesker and Burton. I gotta stop this thing. So realistically, there should be like a time limit. If you don't, if you're not done with this part in a certain, you know, amount of time, you're dead. You weren't ready for it, or maybe you have a small chance of surviving in danger or something like that. Brake operation manual. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. One, activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations: first car driver's compartment, rear deck of the fifth car. Why? Because we're dicks, and we want to make this as hard as possible. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Step 2. Enter rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After the, this, the driver's compartment code can be input. Step 3. Enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes will be available for use. If you're still alive by then. <laughs> uh, oh, really? I'm sorry to hear that. So we'll leave Rebecca behind because we, we need Billy's ability to take more bites in the face. to uh, In order to, you know... Like, what's the word? Strategize with health items the, mo the most? So it's like in RE1 remake or like RE1 or, or RE2 with uh, stronger and weaker character where the herbs pay off for the stronger character more so only in this game we're doing it at the same time <laughs> rebecca stay behind did i say dark okay i'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake then you apply the brake from here okay all right billy what be careful Resident Hazard. Billy! 
Big Diamond. I was saying earlier, Mayo, I used to dislike this game. A, like, dislike. I almost disliked it 10 years ago. But uh, I actually like it a lot now, gameplay wise. If you just don't pay attention to the story, you won. I think I can just run past everything, huh? What I should do? A charge! Billy! <laughs> Billy, help! Just charge past everything. Charge! Charge, 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 charge. This is the turbo charge. Charge! Charge, 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 charge. No time to play. Uh, where are you? Where are you, Stars member? There he is. Should have just passed him. That's not him. He's gonna be around. Good thing they're not good at limboing. Alright. I think it's time. Fuck it. Bite me. Literally bite me. <gasps> oh, four of them? Another bite. I'll take it. No time to fuck around with ammo. I need ammo. I'll have herbs, but not the ammo. Oh. Yeah. Watch the cables. It's getting sweaty. There he is. I have to put you down, buddy. Thank you. For your own good. Why am I doing this? I shouldn't be doing this. There you go. Rest in peace. Oh, you didn't watch. Like, he used to be... Phelan used to be one of the... Original... Um, Channel Awesome reviewers and uh, well entertainers that's where I first saw him that's where he started I think. hey gotta give it to RE0 very few Resident Evil games start with a countdown hello Joe hello Joe my boy how are you doing Joe it's the perfect time to examine the lock card brake system this key card is used to bypass the security lock on the brakes all right We gotta make 67. And we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 steps. So it's like 6, 7 times 9 is 63. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 63, and then 4 is 67. There you go. We have enough time to fuck around with Claire now. I've engaged the control device for the break. Over. Roger. I'll put the break on now. As soon as I figure it out. All right, Rebecca, you got enough time. That's 81. That's nine times nine. Well, that's 81. Eight times nine is 72. And then we need nine. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. We won. What a weird password system. Aha! Time for one of them cutscenes all the kids are talking about. Good thing this happened right at the end of the railway. Okay, we're done. Oh, my appendix. Why is it beside me?
Wait, okay. Rebecca? Rebecca? Rebecca. Here. Oh. Are you alright? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes. <laughs> we have to find a way out. Why are you whispering? Don't whisper. So maybe that's why. See how her elbow is hurt? Maybe that's why she's so uh, obsessed with Chris's elbow in RE1 Remake. Well, let me check her if you're good. She, she still got the trauma from when she... I, I mean, I would like to leave them here, Rebecca, but... I guess we're fighting. Come here. Oh, sh for the love of ass. Rebecca, please come here. She's gonna die. She, we're gonna get this far and she's gonna die. What are you doing? Like, what are you aiming at? What the fuck exactly are you... Oh, she's telling me he's alive again? There you go. <laughs> That's why we don't play Rebecca. <laughs> That's why we don't try trust Rebecca with anything. Jeez. Almost made, had me killed. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's reload that. Shoddy. The hunting rifle. My favorite weapon in this game. Chances of them surviving that train wreck, Joe? You know, there are some chances. They would be collecting their <laughs> appendixes around, probably. But, you know, let's... Eh, things happen. Things happen. People have lucky breaks, let's just say for the, you know, give them benefit of the doubt, considering that they have, uh, uh, that, like, 5-10% of being immune to T-Virus, why not have, like, 0.5% chance, percent chance, you know, of surviving that, why not? Hello, Wesky, thank you for that raid, sexy Wesky. Hello, raiders, welcome. Welcome the foresters. <laughs> welcome spayers. <laughs> As scary as the world of RE is, it's almost better since humans absorb so much punishment in the tip and keep on walking. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no item box controlling two characters, but no two players I hate about this game. Yeah, those are the things I disliked as well. But like I said, it grew on me. I actually like that it doesn't have item boxes now. that Because the inventory management is totally different. So it gives me... Because I, I have like 15 RE games with the same inventory management uh, system this one makes me think differently so i have to think ahead now where i want to put my items if i'm going to be passing there to pick them up it adds replay value for me different than the other games in the series and i was saying earlier so here's the thing in re0 you can exchange items let me check if Weski's here hello Weski. welcome welcome <laughs> Welcome, how are you doing? Yeah, RE0 on the GameCube, my boy, as we do here. See, I have transparent buttons. No, it's just A, doesn't like the green screen. <laughs> so, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the item exchange in Zero is you can either exchange directly with a character next to you through inventory, or you can drop an item on the floor and pick up something else, right? In Outbreak, you can hand the item on your hand, like here, take this, or... You can't drop items, but if you see something on the floor, you can exchange it with something in your inventory. And therefore saving that spot on the ground, using it as your item box. As long as there is not a new player that just picks it up and walks away, then that spot is gone, right? So if they combine both of those item exchange systems in one game, whatever that be, like Resident Evil minus 0.5 or uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, whatever... It would be amazing being able to do like all the things the humans can do. Look, I can put this mug here. I don't have to leave the controller to pick, take the mug. You know what I'm going at with this. Yeah, Lupka, we finished this whole, like the first whole section of the game. And we're off, on to the next one. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Exactly, Carter. Exactly. So now let's find those. What are you doing with with health, Rebecca? She got she. 
You had to do that, did you? Now I have to give you this and hope that you just don't fuck it up further. Yeah, do it. I need her fine. And we're not gonna use her nearly as much, so... Leave. What do I want with you? Give all the ammo to Billy. No, don't leave. It, no! Ah! Where is it now, Rebecca? Find it. Here you go. Could have just given it to Billy, but that's good. <laughs> Exchange all of it. Give him all of it. It's going great, Wesk. It's going great. Well, not so great. It's going great in my head. I love this game now. <laughs> As I keep saying, I didn't like it, but I like it a lot now. Just like with Code Veronica, it grew on me. But I started horribly. I had like. It's not even the RNG, I can't blame the RNG, I just I hesitated in some situations and got bitten more times than I should have. I forgot how to effectively deal with the scorpion. So that went, you know, kind of backwards. He really thrashed me around. Silly. But uh, I'm still enjoying it and that's what matters, right? Alright. I'm remembering stuff. So... Don't need that. Is there any other items? Don't need the knives. Were those like all the zombies in the in the train that just came back here? Oh, don't go to the fire. So there's nothing there. It should give me all the items actually. Yeah, nothing we need. If we have the space, I'll bring the space hook. But we won't need it. We won't need it for a while. So I'll leave it here for now. Fuck it. Screw it. Yeah, I can I can forgive RE Zero a lot of the plot holes and like <laughs> a lot of the stuff it does wrong, but the fact that this is somehow above the Umbrella Lab, like this place right now is above Umbrella Lab in uh, RE Two and Outbreak, it makes no fucking sense. Unless the elevator is going sideways to get here, because this should be way north of the city in the forest, right? But somehow you take that the elevator near the end of the game from that lab and you end up here. And then Rico just fucking walks away towards the mansion from the lab. Like, it's right there, across the mountain. <laughs> thank you, Wesky, thank you. <laughs> Let's go. It's fun. That's okay, Wesky, you sleep well, my man. This sewage water gives off a stench so bad it makes your eyes water. And yet, we're, we're swimming in one. Ah... <laughs> uh... Wait, Billy should be the lead. Rebecca, I don't trust you with, like, a pea shooter, really. Thank you, Wesky. You have a good night, my friend. Dangre. Authorized personnel only. Okay. Were there any herbs or ammo here? Like, hey, I'm gonna check everything. Is there ammo here? Water seeps through the joints of this rusty pipe. <laughs> what, the joints that Rebecca made for you, Billy? <laughs> oh my shoulder oh god oh I got sh shoulderitis the umbrella research center General Manager, Dr. James Marcus. Oh, yes, quite. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect <sighs> upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. <laughs> Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. I love this game, but it's one of the worst prequels ever made, story-wise. It's so goofy. It's like... It's like... You know how I always say the ending of uh, uh, RE8, most of RE8, but that ending specifically? 
It's like uh, someone took fanfic and turned it into our game. I swear this is what this feels like that too. Like it was written by an angsty teen. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> such a shame, because it's such a such an inter interesting part of the of the you know Ari lore story. Yet they did it so goofy, and then you actually get a good prequel in Ari Five, which is the game itself is really unappealing to me honestly even even in co-op which is the only way i would accept playing it it's just you know it's not the it's, I'm not, i don't want to play gears of war i want to play resident evil but the loading screens actually give you a lot of this info that get this game uh, it, it, it does it better than re0 really but for the fun yeah <laughs> what the guy who's already killed <laughs> It's a huge portrait of the first director of the facility, James Marcus. Yes, discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds Unreal Engine, and Unreal Engine breeds fucking quakes all everywhere. No, wait, that's that's it's so, it Tech 3. I mix up my engines. The Night Swords firmly bar access to the door. Uh huh. So. No, you know what? Tell me where's where the weed is. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm Rebecca. I gotta mix this shit. It's my part of the job. Take it. Do it now. Mix it up. Drop it. <laughs> Bop it. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> Stop it. Kill it. Beat it. Hey, you know what we could do, Rebecca? We could combine those pink ribbons. Take it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what it feels like. Which is the reason why I did dislike this game for the longest time. Really is special kind of goofy. Actually, I'm gonna drop this over here. Wait there, Billy. Wait there, Billy, I'll be right back. Somewhere where I can see it, like here. Not that the map won't tell me where it is, but precautions. That's where we came from. No herbs here. What a curious access panel. This ceramic pot is decorated in an oriental style. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Other than it probably being worth more than your year's wage? Yeah, probably not. Look at those chairs. I would love those chairs. Really nice chairs. These tyrannical umbrella leaders really... You know, they have their... They know their way around. Classic art. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, people see Sephiroth in him as well. Yeah, that, you know, that's the part that, like, makes it seem like an angsty teen wrote it. It's just weird. Alright, I'm Billy. I am the Scourge of Armageddon. And I'm going here this way. Why? Because I can. Do I want to go there first? I gotta remember where the map is. I think I want to go here first. I want to pick up everything I can pick up. And then just get out of there. Yeah. Let's. I'll try. DS Remake. Well, as soon as I get that, I'll play it. As for streaming it, I still don't know. Maybe there's a way to play DS games on a TV. Like anything that could go into the capture card, I would love it. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I remember this part at least. The faucet is completely dry. It's probably broken. Which is why this is like location reminded me a lot of Code Veronica. The bathrooms on the left, similarly dilapidated, same ideas. This urinal is unspeakably filthy. It must not have been cleaned in ages. Well, if it's not used, you sh it shouldn't smell or anything, you know. Oh, look at that bottle there. That's shite. Yeah. <laughs> 
Empty ball. Ball. Little ball war. Yeah. Yeah. Can I mix? Is my power mixing Molotovs? Because that would be really handy. Oh, six. Six liters. I guess that's a liter, not a canister. Six liters of, or six servings. So that's a fuller canister. <laughs> you can hear dripping. That's the funny part. You can hear dripping. Should I? Should I not? He's... I'll wait. I'll wait. As much as I love this game, it hurts the core foundation the Resident Evil stands on, to be honest. For example, John Carpenter's Halloween doesn't explain why Michael Myers does what he does. There is no known motive. It's the mystery and the wanting to know, but never getting on getting an answer that makes it scary. <laughs> we call that theater of the mind. It lets you struggle with what it could be. We didn't need a full-blown explanation of what happened. <laughs> To the Bravo team or how the T-Virus escaped. <laughs> so you think you didn't need it, but you, you see, they knew better. <laughs> you know, honestly, if they use these mechanics in a brand new game, as in like, if they didn't go so much bonkers with details, what I wanted to know was what happened, you know, what was it in the forest? You could have just like brushed past it and go gone any other direction, but you know, we get this. Again, very fun to play, very goofy. <laughs> Are we ready? A charge! I like how they have to like uh, strain for first five seconds. Give, that gives you enough time to get out of there. Should I even try going this way? Or is it gonna be... Can I? No, it's the one with the clock, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. A charge! Oh, what? Not even... Not even gonna spawn him because I didn't go back enough. Okay, that's good. That's gonna make it easier later. Thank you, game. Rebecca, I got more booze in a bottle that we can set on fire. Blow shit up. I also got some weed. I know you're like mixing those. What else do I have? Did I pick anything important up? Nah. Should we mix the two greens? You know what? Do it. Minimize the space. That's how I did it last time in the test run and it worked perfectly. Be right back again. She's really bored there. <laughs> Just sitting, <laughs> waiting for Billy to bring bottles and other shit. Billy, are you, what are you hitting, man? There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Oh, indeed. This oil painting depicts two lovers at play. Why are they playing? There's a state of emergency out here. I guess we'll go into this room. Nothing bad ever happens in this room, right? Mm, that's a good Molotov cocktail. Oh yeah. You know how much I like, <laughs> I love Molotovs in these games. Well, I love, I love them the most in Outbreak. In this game, they're a little wonky. You can't throw them up or down just straight, but when they work, they work wonders. It's definitely not as satisfying as like blasting earwigs with them. Notice to all staff, this document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor, West Operations Control Room. Second floor, Southeast Meeting Room. The entry code shall be 850. Thank you. All right, notice to all staff filed. Talk to me, Billy. Like, look at all this shit. You gotta have a comment, man. It's a painting of a horse galloping across the land. It's a photo of a man in the doctor's gown. Oh, George? George! What is George doing here? 
It's a very old fireplace. There's only small, a small trace of ash left. This plant has wilted. You, you know, if it's been abandoned as, much, as long as they say it has been, <laughs> like, there would be no plant for real. That's the problem. Most of the time, they're not satisfying enough. Yeah. Plus the usual prequel problems. Oh, the character almost met before they actually met. <laughs> I always left her in RE1. Like, they kept it in the remake, which still makes it silly that Chris and Rebecca have to introduce to each other. Like, like they have five-star offices, or like, they were working... Rebecca says she's been there since last month. Since it's mid, well, actually late July, she had to be have been there for at least 24 days, which is more than three weeks. Almost four weeks. At least, at the minimum. Yet they never met each other in in that office. Like you know, the stars office. It's, it's, you, you can you can say like, "Hey, Rebecca," she can hear you through the calls and everything. But nope, they they've never met. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh. I will just walk here. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if I try to take this thing. Crank handle. Way to ruin the suspense. <laughs> I can hear the laser like going and loading the next screen. <laughs> and you can't move your character or anything. That's okay, Zero. We still love you. Uh, look, as long as you're not RE3 Remake, we love you. Should have left that upstairs, but that's good. A crank handle with a square shaped protrusion at one end. Okay. Oh wait, drop it. Drop it. Leave it. Do I want to take this, decapitate someone? Because I kind of want to... Want to lead them around that table. But I'm, yeah, that's not going to happen with Rebecca on the team. And I'll need Rebecca on the team because... It's easier. Come on, Rebecca, we got cleanup to do. No, wrong button. I mean, come on, Rebecca, we got cleanup to do. Come on, Roger. It's Billy, stop calling me Roger. Please memorize my name. We're working together here. Ooh, hold on. There's gonna be two of them, I think. Come here. This way. This way. Come on. 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 How the fuck? She's dead. Jesus Christ, Rebecca. Are you serious? I just healed you. I have to do everything myself. All you had to do was run around the table. Mine. You don't deserve it. You keep getting bitten. Stop getting bitten. It's the opposite of what you should be doing. Oh, I guess they just left in a hurry, left the plates and everything. Like the big big company like Umbrella leaves a research lab and they're like, you know what? Like leave the candles on. I'm sure they'll be on for the next 30 years or so. Anything else here? <laughs> Rebecca? <laughs> Come on, Rebecca, work with me. Don't make me laugh. I'm just serious, okay? We're trying to survive a zombie outbreak here. It's locked. The door is embossed with a fire motif. Hey, Rebecca, why don't you set it on fire? Various cooking utensils line the... Line the... <laughs> line the back of the counter. This must be the kitchen. Well, what a keen eye. No, don't... Don't look at the door. Prequels should be spin-offs. Focus on one character and let them have an adventure that works as an origin for their character. Rebecca is the medic in a special military police force. What awesome stuff must she have done before to be there? Yeah, see, that would be really nice. Give us the source of that photo uh, Wesker keeps on his desk. Wesker has it in his desk. -er. <laughs> Stampede of bears on cocaine or a par paramilitary group using speed and other drugs to give them almost superhuman abilities. <laughs> uh... Oh boy, okay, Rebecca, let's try to be serious, okay, no, don't make me laugh again. The sink's faucet is rusty, not even a single drop of water comes out. The tree looks lonely and withered, it seems there was no one to take care of it. Is there an allegory for, for Marcus? 
Oh, I never played Alone in the Dark, honestly. Mayo. I've seen screenshots of it. The first polygonal one, but that's about it. The sign reads, No Naked Flames. No Naked Flames? What about Naked Guns? I don't think this means anything. I've never blown myself up here. I'm not gonna try now because, uh, well, I just haven't saved yet, but I'm really curious. I'm gonna talk about the giant ass boiler that's hissing there. Seriously, this is not interesting to you? You people, you disgust me. Did I get the map though? I forgot where the map is here. Let me check their bullets. 10 and 9. Yeah, we should be good. I'll go alone. No. This way. Oh, let's not pause. Jeez, okay. I lost some time there. Are we a team? We're a team. I told her to leave me alone. Good start, good start. What the? He dead? He ain't dead. He dead now. Alright. We need something here. That. All of them. How many Alone in the Dark games are there? I'm totally unfamiliar with the franchise. I've heard the name as a wee baby boy. Mm. But I've never watched, well, I've watched them, played them. I know the movie, the movie sucked ass. <clears throat> like anything done by Uwe Boll, but uh, we knew that. Various materials like lie stacked on the floor. Oh yeah, fun fact about this. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, about this RE0. So the first copy I had, had this typo, like way later in the game. You look at a mirror and the character says, it looks like a nice polished suit of armor or something. So I was like, what the fuck? And it turns out that the kanji uh, for mirror and for armor is very similar. So that was mistranslation. And then the HD remaster keeps that error so it says it still says looks like a mirror or looks like no it looks like a shining piece of armor when it's actually a mirror something like that but in this copy that i just got like a few months ago there's no such error so i'm thinking what i'm thinking is this is the updated version let's say version 1.1 or whatever but when they ported the remaster they used the you know 1.0 version the original and nobody fixed that ever. Stack of chairs and other furniture. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. <clears throat> well, they are expensive chairs. Four games, one remake, one reboot. So altogether four, or is that six? Wait, you, guys, get, there's gotta be some ammo in these like shelves. Are you are you shitting me? There's nothing there. Literally nothing. Just stacked stuff and nothing for us to pick up, huh? What about the baby picture there? Not gonna talk about that, no? I guess that's not interesting. Let's go up. Oh, sorry, love, if my dying is inconveniencing you. Oh, this guy. This guy always kills Rebecca. Well, not always. He killed her once and I, I never forgave him. down boy okay yeah let's do a twofer there you go that paid off i want to i want to use this shotgun and be done with it because like as soon as i use all the bullets i'm throwing it away wait he's really he's really dead it didn't sound like he was dead here we go two you don't have to <clears throat> You don't have to mix, Rebecca. A stone statue with a single eerie-looking wing on its back. There is a small hole in the back. Yeah, it's called the anus. You shouldn't talk about that. Let's give that to Rebecca. You hold the butt statue. Butt statue, butt statue. 
What was the mirror armor story? Oh, that's right. There's going to be a hidden herb somewhere. I remember now. Well, for Rebecca, at least. <clears throat> Is that it? Yep, that's it. Yep. Oh, look at the look at those leaves. Sorry, got a cough again. I keep thinking there's more. Oh, the mirror armor story. I was just telling how, like, in the original RE0 I had for the GameCube and in the HD remaster, when you check a mirror later in the game, it says it's suit of armor. And I found out it's a translation error because the kanji for mirror and armor is very similar. But this version that I got just a few months ago off of eBay, uh, it actually has that correct translation and a few other things are different so my line of thinking is that was version 1.0 this is version 1.1 and when they were making the hd remaster they just used the first version yeah seven this is going to be another reboot remake so actually oh my god stop remaking the game make something new <laughs> i mean i don't know i never played it but still door is now unlocked yeah that's what we were going to do okay this is going way slower Maybe even for my taste, but that's okay. I'm just having fun here. There we go. The night swords firmly bar access to the door. Oh, quite so. It's an artist's scaffolding. Perhaps someone was restoring the painting. Yes, my chap, quite. The painting depicts a band of revolutionaries. How dare they? The painting depicts a multitude of people fighting in a war. Oh my, such proper. The painting depicts a large mob of people brandishing weapons under a blue cloudless sky. So it's all about war, huh? We're so obviously evil. The painting depicts a group of people eating in a dining room. They're all glaring at each other. So it all started... Is that the Serbian lunch? Like they went to lunch and they just killed each other? Hey, it could happen to you and you. And you. No, don't leave. Why do you keep... Combine? Oh, Billy cannot use it. That's right. Gotta get used to that. Okay, Rebecca, you're the weed mixer here. We good? We good. Okay. We good? That's okay. We'll do the rest outside. There's an ink ribbon we're just gonna touch. That's enough. No, wait. I really wanted that. Jechelles. That someone just dropped in the corner. Next to the potted plants. Well, yeah, that's where I keep my shotgun shells as well. Next to potted plants. The painting depicts a crowd of people standing around the castle. Wailing in grief. So, was it like... Regicide? What the hell happened here? I saw a paper somewhere. Give me, give me stuff to lead. I want to lead. I mean, read. <laughs> hmm, speaking of funny games to play, how about the FMV game Ripper? It has Christopher Wake. <laughs> Christopher Walking. Okay, Christopher Walking in a game. I would just play it for Christopher Walking, whatever the game was. <laughs> Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility. Facility. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be global future leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Damn, throat, really. Uh. You see, when I want to cough, I can cough. But when I'm speaking, I, f I feel like I'm going to cough. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourself to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Markish, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. 
regulation for trainees. Well, it's like you, 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 <laughs> you come here, you see that, and you're like, you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going home. Oh, wait. Rebecca, do you have the winged devil? Drop the winged devil here. 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 And then run. Run, Rebecca. Run as far as your little legs carry you. I shall bring you where you need to fight the evil. Faster, Rebecca. You run so slow. Unequip. Unequip. You guys gotta be faster. Gotta be faster than that. Take it. And then drop it all. Nine. Yeah. Resident Evil Inventory Management Simulator. No, they called it Resident Evil Zero, but you know what it has zero off? What it doesn't have zero off, actually. Plot holes. It's got a lot of those. Okay. I shall exchange this with you, madam. There you go. We shall exchange some ammo as well, later. I think we're ready to run, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, nice, you know that. You know that. Wait, is, is it, are you quoting resistance? <laughs> are you quoting resistance or are you quoting the original where that's from? Which I'm not sure what that is. Because that's what Daniel says in resistance. That's why I'm asking. Alrighty, buddy. Bon appetit. Enjoy your meal. While me and Rebecca try to survive this nightmare. Are you ready, Rebecca? Because I am not. You suck. I shall forgive you this once. Oh, cherries. I have cherries. Damn it. Okay, after the zombies. After we deal with the zombies. Rebecca, come on. Right, everybody dead? Yeah? Yeah. I feel a draft on my butt. Okay, another with the fire motif. Fire motif, fire motif. Where did they find that? Troublesome. What is up with the baby? What are you doing to the baby? It's an old painting. It depicts a baby being held by a young woman and an old woman. Who are they? Rip is that like King Solomon's baby story? Is it though? I don't know. Old painting lined the wall. All of them depicting women. So they're all women. Okay. So this is the female corridor. Collection of female statues. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Spoony emulating. Okay. Okay. I, d I didn't know that's from there. Okay. So I gotta I gotta see that. But yeah, I know like in uh, in Resistance, one of the one of Daniel's voice lines is uh, what was it like? See zombie, see zombie run, run zombie run. <laughs> Nothing special. Well, they have statues, Billy. You don't have a statue. Where's your statue? Billy's gonna get a statue later. I swear that I think I was playing too much Leech Hunter, which is why I expect there to be more shit here. The flimsiest door in existence. Hello? Any zombies here? I guess not. Well, if there's no one here, I'm just gonna keep going. Never mind me. Microfilm. A. You know what? Take it. What's the worst that can happen? Who's Billy's shirt? Look at that shirt. So sexy. You only wish you had a shirt like this. Wait, who's Spoonie or Billy? The candle is burnt out. It's locked. Oh, it's, I wonder what I need to do here. The old man is holding a candle in his hand. This light will guide you to a greater truth. 
I highly doubt that in these games, but um, I'll work with you, game. I didn't bring the handle. Ah, yes. Yes, we got the full map of <clears throat> half the facility. Yeah, Spoonie is amazing. Used to be, at least, when he worked. Now, he doesn't work lately, right? Right? I've heard something, he might be coming back, but I do know he's got some issues, so... I miss him, man, I miss him. I miss him a lot. His Ultima retrospective, like Final Fantasy retrospective, like, I laughed a lot, especially for 10, 8, 10, and 13, right? And Ultima retrospective. So much, so much, uh, he's got so much to say, but he's also very honest about it, you know? You can see when he's really pissed off and, you know, when he really laughs. At least that's what I see it. <laughs> wife beater t-shirt, yep. Well, no, it's a wife beater shirt only if it's white, Dupka. This is like more like everyone beater. <laughs> I beat everyone who I meet. <laughs> ever beater, they call it the ever beater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do share some interest. He's he's an electrical engineer, you know that. So I was <clears throat> initially I was mind blown that the guy built his own robot. <laughs> Someone has evidently used this computer recently. It doesn't seem to be working anymore though. Well, if you punched it <clears throat> again. God damn it. All right. La the books on this shelf are compact, but they're all full of technical jargon, which I do not speak, because I am Billy, the punchinator. The bookshelf contains a wide selection of books. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest. I do not read, I need. Poor Billy. It's one of the rare characters you never know anything about by the end. It's a winch control for a lift. There's a square-shaped hole in the panel. <gasps> oh my! It's already, It's a crank for a crank. Extensive variety of books. Most of them have to do bi with biology and chemistry. Good thing we never heard of the Umbrella Corporation. You know what, Rebecca? You stay here. Nothing's gonna attack you. Give me what... What can she give me? What does she have? Nothing. Keep everything. I'm I'm taking these things, Rebecca. Microfilm. Give me the microfilm. The what? The microfilm. Insert this film into a projector to view its contents. It's really? Huh. I would have never thought that. I'll go alone. Okay. Bye. Yeah, aber mashmal is klebeband goldfarben. So, silence is golden? Is that what you're saying? Yes, but... Sil silence is paste paint gold? Is that even silent? <laughs> zdravo, Natsu! Zdravo, zdravo! Zdravo, Pile Wikino! Kako si ti? Natsu moja! <laughs> I just saw that something is gold. Painted gold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Carter. That's that's really a compliment coming from a German speaking <laughs> poison. What am I doing? I'm looking for the yeah, Billy, don't get lost, man. Like Rebecca gave you too much weed. You gotta focus, man. You're you're a soldier. You're representing this country in other countries with guns, so please pull yourself together. There you go. Duck rank handle. A crank handle with a square shaped protrusion at one end. There you go. I love this. So see this little bit here? This little like metal ball or whatever? That thing actually exists when you have thing like tools that assemble. I got a, quite a few tools, not cranks, but other tools that use that. So, you see, the, it's on two sides, and it's like, it's on a spring, both both little balls, wink wink. They, <laughs> they can be sucked in <laughs> to that big metal shaft. <laughs> Let's get serious. And, uh, and then when it, you know, when it enters where it needs to be, <laughs> wink wink, stop that, <laughs> it clicks. So, it kind of clicks, but you, if you pull it hard, then, um, 
you can actually you know remove it without any additional tools so it's very like I have a lot of screwdrivers with, that have detachable heads that use this technology what's the name of that technology you ask why it's the switcheroo technology <laughs> I thought you were gone Joe if I had known you were there man I would have I would have still pretended to be <laughs> polite <laughs> Silence is golden, duct tape is silver. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Wait, what did I want to do? Fucking Billy. Run. We need to combine all the ink ribbon. How many ink ribbons can you stack? What do you think? 50? 20? 30? leave i leave this year because i have other places to be to be lee i always use this left side because it's like better it looks better <laughs> uh, oh you guys it really makes it like time flies like you know some days there's a day when there's not much people watching, not many people watching. And, you know, like, I would say 80 to 90% of Twitch viewers, they don't chat, which is perfectly fine, you know, of course. <laughs> like, when you're watching TV, you don't want your TV talking back at you, right? But uh, it is different, because, like, time flows differently when I'm talking to myself. Oh, hello, Rebecca, how's this your way. thinking session? Roger. It's barely, it's not Roger, stop that. Uh, if this were outbreak, I would kick you, but I can't kick apparently. I have no kicking skills. Uh, it just flows so much different when someone's, you know, talking back to me. Hmm. I'll go alone. Roger. I said I'll go alone. Stop looking at me. <clears throat> Throat, please cooperate. So she's got everything she needs to survive. So she's gonna have to survive the plague crawlers. One of the more interesting enemies in RE0. I've heard, you know, critiques that RE0 has won some of the most... It has a lot of insects. It's true, because James Marcus uh, really used, like, his first experiments with the T-Virus, even back then, I think it was Progenitor or, like, Proto-T. Uh, they were all on insects. Use the lift. It's play crawling time. Come on, play crawlers. Ah, oh, bastard! Stop that, damn it, friend. Stop that. This is no time for me to die. Jeez! Did you see that little bastard? Two shotgun shells and that. Wow! Can't even shoot straight. Don't move. Just shoot down, straight down. The best bet. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Should have expected it. Okay, you keep you keep doing that. I disagree. Shit. That's why I keep the shotgun. After this, we can just drop it. Fuck you, shotgun. You're useless. You're very useless. It's got more shells, sure, but the spread is horrible compared to the hunting rifle. Which is why the rifle is my um, first choice. Wait, what? They're, these gears must be part of one big clock. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Mechanical sex jokes make me want to reread the Transformers comic series where Haltrod and the worst possible combination of crew members go on a ship to look for the most important item in Cybertonian history. <laughs> I don't know much about Transformers, I, uh, honestly. I was, like, very little when that aired. And I liked Ninja Turtles better, anyway. <laughs> Alright, the clock. It's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. Damn, that was really bad, the way it beat the shit out of me. I was like, I'm gonna do it, no damage. But it didn't agree. Wait, that's it. You can't go down, the lift is broken, right? Well, actually, let's check with him. 
The lift seems to have broken down on its way up. That's kind of confusing. Broken down on its way up. It's no longer of any use. If you say so. Hello, play crawler. Too bad you can't, you know, look behind. Now I want to be... I'm hoping for luck. Because I didn't save. I'm hoping I don't die. I want to take some of these crows, as many of them as possible. Oh, that's really bad time. Fucking move. I need... Is that it? Very nice, okay. Thank you, sound. So much easier when you have sound. Well, when I have sound. From IDW, like TMNT, it's an amazing space opera comedy. Wait, what? IDW? What is IDW? I do wish. I do wish. Oh yeah, we didn't, we didn't examine the bullets. I wonder. Holds nine... Nine times ninety? How do you pronounce that actually in English? Parabellum rounds for use with the handguns. The handgun ammo. Luger high profile bullets for handguns. Oh look, they didn't actually remove that. So yeah, they were in the process of removing old branding. They do say like stuff like ACP. Where was it? Yeah, fuck, it's Kevin's gun. 45 ACP. Automatic cold pistol. So we can see there's an item that there. We can see that the mansion is built on top of a cliff somehow. So above that tunnel. The water is clean, but the bottom is covered in dirt. That So that's the description. So in RE1 remake in the courtyard, the fountain, that this is the description I think of when I see that. So it always surprises me that it's not it. Okay, that is all great, Rebecca. But do you see any ammo? Actually, no, there's no point in doing that. Jill, no, you don't want to be go back out there. You gotta love this foliage just being this. And the, 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 the roof of the house, amazing. Even though it's looking... What is it even looking for? Oh, yeah, like, like, like I said, Resident Evil 0 is one giant plot hole. Maybe it was like the Resident Evil plot hole, not Resident Evil 0. We just read it at 0. But, so she's looking over there. That should be the roof of this, like... The kitchen, what else we didn't see there? Yeah, above the kitchen. So, look at that. Look at the first floor, look at the second floor, look at the third floor. So, obviously, second floor goes, should be like roofing above this empty space. You know, there's nothing there on the first floor, unless there, it's just rock. But we'll see at one point, you, she actually looks through the window, where there should be, you know, a rock or, or just nothing. And you can see the outside. So it's really a mishmash. The game's been through kind of development hell. In a way that it was made for the N64. And that version was largely completed when they switched to... Oh, let's not do that yet. When they switched to uh, GameCube. And I, I was always interested in that... Uh, N64 prototype version. I want to see what it would be like. Because having a Resident Evil 2 on the N64 proved to be, you know, very competent. It's a cage for raising animals. The cage is too heavy to lift. What kind of animals do you raise in these? Like raise? Like raising them from babies to adulthood? Or like raising them spatially, you know? Up, up and away? We'll never know. Okay, we'll need Billy for that. I do want to see if there's some like, is this where I found hidden ammo? No, I wasn't. Maybe somewhere in the cracks. Nope. Nope. Very quiet walking. Gate? That's obviously a gate. Not even gonna try to open it, huh? Is there anything behind the column? Nothing hiding there? Nope. Nothing but my shadow. More knights.
These knights' swords firmly bar access to the door. Okay, same. Running in the video? What do you mean? What do you mean, Delmar? Is this unlocked? I gotta check the map. Because I know what's waiting for me inside. Unpleasant stuff. Oh, it's actually unlocked. Okay, let's unlock it for Billy here. Actually, let's bring Billy. I wonder if they're gonna attack her while she's in that room. Shit. That's why we exit with Billy. Take the bite. Take the bite. Oh, it worked. Nice. So next time, yeah, I know I, there was a reason why I exit with Billy as soon as I lift her up. The door is now unlocked. Really fast on the switching. GameCube was a powerhouse. I keep saying that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, if you mean the backgrounds, Delmar, this is also video files. As far as I'm aware, these are all like tiny video files that keep looping. Which is why, uh, maybe not fire, but I wouldn't be surprised if fire was, you know, like that too. Look at that. It's amazing. Come on. Okay. I mean, come on. When I say come on, we go like, we gotta go down first. We gotta kill those play crawlers. If Billy gets fucked up, well, he gets fucked up. What I need you to do, Rebecca, is... I'll go check over there. Okay. I'll check this corner where I stash my weed. Is that red? That's also red. No, you were not wrong. It's really video files. You can see it at some... Like, it's easier for us to see now with high-definition displays. Because I'm streaming at 720p. That's for, for for the GameCube. That was pretty HD, and you might like be able to see traces of it. That's like analog video distortions. You know, like snow, static. Static is the word. That's the word I'm looking for. It's like old TV static. Wait, you take the hunting rifle, my boy. And the shells. And charge! Come, on. What, come with me. What, what are you gonna do there? Nothing? I do want to equip her now. She might be of some help in there. But she might also die very quickly. So I'm gonna try to stun them with Billy and hope... Pray to God Rebecca does something. It's one of the places where you might, might be better off just leaving her, but we're in this together. And I'm willing to take a bite in the face for her. As long as she cooperates. Are they here already? I think there should be some time. No, that's after. Yeah, that's after the, the boss. That's right. Do I want you here, Rebecca? I guess so, but let's hope for the best. Fuck it, I'll risk it. I know, like, randomly she can get attacked, like, through Billy. I've seen that happen. Right, we might be able to save her. Already caution. <laughs> oh. There you go. Nailed it. We want that.
we do want that actually do we know want that we want we want the rest of its pieces first so i'll bring it to the main hall why not billy you take that the painting depicts an aristocratic lady the painter has accentuated her sense of nobility has he now boo, 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 boo. it's locked the door is embossed with a water motif okay these paintings aren't even packed in boxes they're just stacked here haphazardly you mean biohazardly nope this grandfather clock appears to be broken it stopped ticking altogether thank god is that mobius do you have a fucking mobius statue the room is filled with art objects it must be an art storehouse or like peril dimension storehouse that looks like mobius prophesizing something do we want to drop something here yes kitty yes yes please what is what is hurting what is hoiting you bazooka yes it's the same type as in re1 a large grenade launcher featuring a revolver style chamber it's currently loaded with regular grenades six of them right yeah what is it kitty Are we gonna do that? Huh? What do you think? Are you up for it, champ? I forget what's better for it. You know what? Actually, I can drop it upstairs and pick it up. It's it's RE0 we're playing. The light is going wild. That's weird. What am I doing? I'm dropping the angel statue. I'm obviously going away. Mentally. Wait for me here, statue. It's also got a butt, right? A statue in the shape of a woman. Oh, yep. It's got a butt. Leave. Is it time for our first save? Yes, it is. Why? Because I can't. I'm losing it. I'll even deal with the inventory tomorrow. I can't. Let's -a go. Libby, you're going first. Are you? No. We'll need all the things Libby has here. We'll need that. We'll definitely we maybe need that. We'll drop it. We'll exchange these things. So we'll be good. It'll be good. It's the shoulder to hip ratio they were measuring like, hmm, yep, this is it. Typewriter, record data, yes. B. Yep, new saves, also deleted, start refresh. Rebecca, 01, oh, there we go. Oh God, I'm tired. I need my phone. Let's see who we're going to raid. That was really good. Considering, you know, I went in with the half a brain. That start was really, really rocky. Rough start. Can go much, much worse as, as RE0 has unforgiving RNG. Well, who's, who, who's a streaming tonight? <laughs> well, you can, even the hips are discuss <laughs> Discutable. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing there, literally. Oh boy, who's doing what? Um. Thank you. All right, Doctor Best, it is. Thank you, everyone, for watching, for laughing here with me. It really, really made my evening. 
<laughs> we'll see you tomorrow with episode two. If I'm really good at this, we should finish this by the end of the week. If not sooner, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> CMD? Maybe you're looking for CMD. But that's it, yeah. SFX and CMD, Carter. Until next time, everyone. Stay well. Bye-bye.